We know the ocean can be very productive, but if you don't know how much fish you're taking out of the water, it's really hard to manage for the future. We need solid information feeding into the stock assessments, and so with new technology available, and really having a complete picture of what's going on in the ocean, it's integral to proper managing a fishery. I started ground fishing in 1982. We had too many boats entered the fishery during that time period. By 1999-2000, pretty apparent that stocks were in pretty bad shape. The fishery declared a disaster. The information that we had feed into those assessments wasn't good. It was a pretty dark time in the fishery as far as way too many boats chasing way too few fish. Keeping fishery sustainable really comes down to making sure that we have good data, good science that goes into the management. We want to do something different and basically have full accountability and complete the circle of information in to give you the right number of fish to take out. And one of the ways is catch monitoring. The fisheries regulator would uh, typically require an observer on board. They would look at the catches, they would, would note down what's happening, make sure that you know, what's coming in you know, from the net is being properly accounted for. They record it, they bring those logs back. Sometimes it takes months uh, or, or even longer to get that data into the management system. The biggest opportunities with electronic monitoring is to move more of that to real time. The marine technology space is changing very rapidly. Artificial intelligence on board the vessel, satellite communications and video monitoring has reached a, a cost and price point now where it's in most cases a viable alternative or observer coverage. A vessel is really a wealth of information. We have you know, a lot more granularity now at the catch level that will allow for insight into how the fishery is performing. What technology can do is give us real-time or near real-time data that can help let us know if there's fewer fish than we thought and maybe there's a corrective action needed. Maybe there's more fish than we thought and there's an opportunity for some, some additional harvest. You could actually bring fish to market when the market wants it. And so fishermen can uh, tailor their fishing operation to the fish they have in their quota account. They're really taking a much more business-like approach to the fishery. You see a lot of optimism with that because people see the future and they see a lot of potential there. Accountability is one of the biggest drivers of innovation. There's an opportunity for smart boats or networked vessels with sensors and, and various emerging technologies to really help us give a better understanding of the, the state of the ecosystem. You know, what's happening out there? What are some of these triggers that are key to productive cycles? It is a complex system and there's a lot left to learn. Technology is finally catching up in the fishing industry and so you have a fresh outlook, I think, from the people who are in the fishery right now. What I'd like to see as we move forward, we'd have really sustainable fishing communities and that we have some long-term investment in the industry and a fully integrated information system from vessel clear market.